Hey people, so we've got the ThinkPad um, T480 trusty old model next to the uh, latest and greatest T14 Gen 2. When the T480 was launched, I think it was back in 2018, it was very well calibrated, very competitive product. So it um, was powerful, full course, up to 64 gig of RAM. It's, um, it's 14 inch built. So if you're a business traveler, then this one was really the one to go for um, if you're inclined to ThinkPads. Back then, I think the more premium ThinkPad was really only the Carbon and the Yoga. Um, obviously, it's a lot more competitive uh, market now. We're just wanting to get a sense how it compares to the new ThinkPad T14 Gen 2, because um, of course, over time, your laptop might still work, but cosmetically, there will be wears on the lid, um, heavy wears on the keyboard, and you know, pressure marks over the screen over time so those things happen so you know at some point it's um, time to switch please do like and subscribe it helps us to keep this channel um running and uh, do more content thanks physically uh, the t14 gen 2 on top is a more compact machine you can see um, especially on this side uh, it's um, also a little bit visible on this side I think the height difference is also there. So all in all, a little bit more compact. Back then, that's what they asked for. Um, one of the super useful feature on the T480 was the do battery setup. So in theory, you can hot swap this one with the laptop turning off, um, which was useful in the sense that you can put a 72 watts hour on the back really quickly. It's um, useful for some people. Um, both machines, as you can see, um, it um, opens backwards. Ish, fully ish. Um, it's possibly useful. Um, to this day, I still have not worked out what you can do on this angle, but um, other than easily dominating the screen. From the age of the laptop, you have surmised that it's an older unit. So let's see the lid. Oh, still quite robust, which is quite um, nice. So no one handed opening, but the lid does open all the way to the back. Um, yeah, I think on the T14 Gen 2, you also can't um, open with one hand, but um, it. Um, equally opens all the way to the back and if we um, equalize them on the edge you can see that um, yeah so footprint wise there's a little bit um, of a difference um, let's see don't advise you to do this at home but, um, yeah so a little bit difference okay it's like a thing sandwich on the new model in addition to the xe graphics and also the 10 nanometer chip you also have the Dolby Vision screen, which is absolutely stunning, the 4K screen. If you're considering getting the Dolby Vision screen on the T14 Gen 2, just be aware that it may reduce your battery life because it's a more pixels to uh, process. Um, but um, as you can see on the back of the T14 Gen 2, um, there's no um, easily replaceable um, battery. So it's um, you're having to use an external USB-C um, charger if, if needed. Whereas on the T480, um, in theory, just take one out, put another one back in, and then it can be a big one, 72 watts hour, up to um, two. On paper, if your T480 still works, um, the utility approach will be just keep on using it until it stops working. Um, I mean, that's one approach. But I think if we dive a little bit more deeply, I think we hope to um, give you a sense of what maybe has really changed on the new model. Port-wise, I think the only noticeable difference other than the layout is that the New T14 Gen 2 on top um, has a micro SD card, so it's no longer the full size SD as you would have on the T480. Upgrade wise, it's a T14 Gen 2, it's got uh, the Thunderbolt 4, two of them, and um, additionally, the HDMI spec is now the 2.0. The display alt capability is also a little bit better than before. So, over time, you do see these changes. One thing we'll probably say about the layout is that personally, I still prefer the T480 layout in that. Yes, if you have those things plugged in on the right hand side, you might bump into it slightly with your mouse. But it's uh, for me, it's a little bit more preferable to having the vent directly exiting into your right hand if you're right handed. Okay, feels robust. Interesting. Good, good. Okay, equally seems okay. Rest feels a little bit more flimsy. What are you doing? Oh, 
slightly different feel. On the T14 Gen 2, what you do have is a more wooden design overall. So as you can see, on the top edge, it's a little bit more compact than bezel. Both have the webcam shutter. I mean, personally, I just really like this one. It's so easy to slide. This one is like, um, but both work and uh, both are better than not having the privacy shutter. On most laptops, um, over time, you'll probably see some keyboard marks or some marks on the screen. Um, I think on the T480, it's doing reasonably okay. Um, sometimes you do see model where it's really loads of keyboard marks and it's just like, um, but um, on the T14, I think it's more compact. So we'll see over time if it does okay. I think so far looking at the uh, same chassis, the T490 chassis, it seems to behave quite well. Okay, so on the inside, you have the upwards firing speaker on the T14 Gen 2. So I think this is definitely a step up from the T480, which I think the speaker was one of the area to be improved. So it's good they improved it. Um, keyboard, um, not really something you can change, but I think for me, the T14 Gen 2, the keyboard is um, still as good as the T14 Gen 1. So I think that's all reasonably you can ask for these days. Click buttons reasonably similar. The polymerized material on the models feel a little bit different. It feels a little bit more rugged on the T480 and um, on the new model it feels um, more soft, softer fabric. I think one of the things um, to notice with any of the T14 and its derivative is that um, if you put your hand here when you type, um, the sharp edge would um, get to you quite quickly. A little bit less the case with the T480 because it has somewhat rounded print edge for me, when I use a laptop based on this chassis, I usually just plug in an external keyboard. It sounds terrible, but it just gets more stuff done. The top of the T480 is um, a little bit more visibly warm on the left-hand side, as partially that's where the heat exhausts. On the base cover, you can also see a quite distinctive signature where the um, heat sink is and also where the motherboard is. Whereas the heat exhaust on the opposite side on the T14 Gen 2 as we can see here, it does get somewhat warm if you put your hand near it and also on the base cover it could get a little bit toasty when you're running CPU plus GPU um, as we can see here. So the T480 is uh, slightly slower than the T14 Gen 1 and it's certainly slower than the T14 Gen 2 on the single channel. As soon as we put in a two-channel memory, it tends to affect the time a little bit. When we plug an eGPU into the T480, it's almost as fast as the T14 Gen 1, but not quite. Two systems have a 16 gig of RAM, except the T480 appears to have two-channel and will have channel from here on so in some benchmarks it would be faster than it would be on single channel here the performance gain from the gen 2 is quite clear in the blender gpu test that's also the case in cinebench multi-core you can see the performance gain on the t14 gen 2 is quite noticeable especially over the t480 single core performance also sees some quite nice boost over the t480 and the t14 the t14 gen 1 would have the top boost advantage over the earlier generation processors so Geekbench multi-core also um, faster. That's also the case for the single core Geekbench 5, as you can see here, quite noticeable. This is a slightly odd one. It's faster than the T14 Gen 1. I think that's only because the memory bandwidth from the Do channel on this laptop. If the T14 Gen 1 had Do channel, it's probably couldn't be similar or faster. Speedometer, it's as you can see, it's um, if you're browsing the web, it will give you quite a healthy boost in the performance. Where does Intel make sense then? For Lenovo, the ThinkPad, especially the T series, is one of their um, higher volume shipping models. So getting it right each model is super important and companies want to be able to rely on this model just to have that consistency and reliability going from generation to generation. So sometimes having no change or minimal change as you have the case here is actually much preferable to having to move to a different ecosystem. So I mean there is that perceived cost of switching and um, there is some real cost to switch. So imagine if your, your employees have to actually send it back to you each time there's an issue and um, then you know it's um, there's probably some more teething issues if you're suddenly deploying AMD for the first time. What I'm trying to say is if you get the Intel version it may be that you're given it through work, or it may very well be that this is best system for you at this price point. Certainly, I think the value proposition of the ThinkPad T-Series has changed slightly, given the increased external competition and also increased because I think um, HP products and um, also the Dell products, they've 
each going slightly different direction. So HP is if you want something more attractive, more thin light than the ThinkPad, and also the Dell is if you just want the latitude. So I mean, all in all, I will probably say the T14 Gen 2, it really refines the T14 Gen 1, which is a reasonable product for business. It may not be as superlative as the T480 was, but that's only because we're still talking about it three years on. So, you know, once in a while you get really superb product and that's what the T480 was and time moves on. Whether we'll still be talking about the T14 Gen 2 in three years, I imagine it may be a little bit li less likely, but that's only partly because of uh, increased competition in this area, not in the least because of the, the M1 and the increased um, presence of the AMD chip. Anyway, we hope this has um, been helpful, probably gone a little bit long, but um, yeah. So which one would you choose? It's um, keep the T480 people longer or even get a refurb unit? or get a new T14 Gen 2. Uh, definitely curious to hear. Um, anyway, please do subscribe. Um, by the way, we also have a T14 Gen 2 review um, somewhere um, on the screen. So do click, um, it's about 30 minutes, so it's a bit long. Um, anyway, do like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.